Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Warzone update video. The new Caldera map is only one week away, and I want to look over some of the major changes that are taking place when the map is released. And there are six major things that will be different when it is. So the first major change will be that you get to keep your Gulag equipment. Players who win their Gulag match will now drop back into the map with the equipment given to them prior to the duel. Deal with the enemy efficiently and return to Caldera with more tools at your disposal. So basically you get to use what you have left over from the Gulag. So if you don't use your grenades for example, you will still have them. Balance adjustments to prepare for the launch of the Warzone Pacific map. Raven Software look closely at a range of balancing changes. So dead silence is being nerfed. Stopping power rounds are being removed. Stun grenades, heartbeat sensor and dual wield melee weapons are also being adjusted. But on the other hand, you can expect buffs to lethal and tactical equipment. Pacific adjustments, players will be able to purchase loadout drop markers from buy stations after the loadout event occurs in the match, increasing the importance of the looting gameplay loop while slightly shifting back the power curve balance of the match. So basically you will have to loot in order to get stuff initially, and then you can buy your loadout once the first loadout has dropped or after the first circle has finished and it will appear in the buy station. Gas mask changes and new gas canisters are being added. Gas masks won't interrupt as many actions as before, so you can now focus on action at hand when fighting in and around the circle collapse, i.e. the gas. Season 1 will also introduce the gas canister, which on detonation releases some noxious vapors within a small radius. Water and shallow waters are being added into the new map, and with the shallow waters, areas like the lagoon will be harder for enemies to see enemy footprints, even when a player has a tracker perk equipped. Operators who crouch in knee-high water will also gain the effects of cold-blooded. And finally, fire-based equipment now emits smoke when hitting water, offering a new layer of tactics when traversing through shallow pools. Last but not least, contracts and public events. Caldera introduces fresh contracts like supply drop contracts and big game bounty. Public events like restocks and resurgences from Rebirth Island are also coming to Caldera. So a whole bunch of new changes to gameplay for Warzone to go along with the new map, weapons and vehicles, and that will be coming on December 8th. Well that is it for this video guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news and updates for Warzone in straight to the point videos, then subscribe and I will see you all very soon for another video.